All right guys, Chris here with Rack Up and Go, and today we're gonna to be talking all about the 48 volt Velet 2000R, specifically when paired with an EcoFlow power kit. So let's get into it. All right, so a couple things about the Velet 2000R and the 48 volt model. This is actually a 3000 BTU increase in capacity when you step up to the 48 volt version. So we have the test results from the 12 volt 2000R, which performed really well, second to the Dometic RTX. This has 3000 additional BTU, so the expectation there is that it's gonna be able to pull down the temperature maybe a little bit faster. I'm not sure on energy usage, but we do have a heat chamber test coming up where we are gonna test the 48 volt version of this 2000R. So in today's video, we're mainly gonna be focusing on not so much you know, the install and attributes of that, we're actually gonna be focusing on how it integrates with the EcoFlow power kit, and then talking about some of the connectivity features. There is a remote control, there's a Bluetooth app that you can connect to the unit, and then also focusing on specifically, how do you connect it to the EcoFlow power kit? All right guys, so on rackupgo.com, we actually have the Velet 2000R 48 volt version bundled with the EcoFlow power kit, which includes the 48 volt AC cable and the bus bars makes it extremely easy to connect. So I've got the power cable here, and this is straight how it comes out of the box. It's already pre-terminated with ring terminals. We've got our 30 amp fuse already in line and tightened down and secure. And on the opposite end, we've got our Anderson cable that's gonna plug right into the back of the Velet. On the front of the power kit here, this is a 10 kilowatt hour system. So we're using battery port one, battery port two. You'll notice in battery port three, we've got the 48 volt AC cable. Now this is essentially just a battery cable that's been trimmed with ring terminals on the end of it and the data communication line removed. We've got that connected to our negative bus bar and our positive bus bar, which like I mentioned, makes this connection very easy. These ring terminals are simply just gonna connect to those bus bars. However, before we do that, one thing I wanna mention is with this power kit and use, utilizing that battery port, this is always hot. There isn't a method on the screen to be able to turn that battery port on or off. So this is got 53.2 volts running to it right now. So before we start making these connections, we're actually gonna go ahead and unplug this connection. All right, so we've got our battery cable unplugged here. So this is no longer live. We've got our ring terminals, black for negative. That's gonna go on this here. It's our negative bus bar. And then we've got our red for positive going on the positive bus bar. All right, we've got our connections made there. We'll bring our AC cable over to the back of the Velet and plug that in. And lastly, we'll remake our connection at the battery port three here. We can hear the Velet beep twice, so we know it's got power. And now we can start to power it up. It does come with a remote. This takes two AAA batteries, which are not included. So you'll have to find some AAA batteries to insert into the remote. Then you can easily power the unit on. You'll notice first off, it is in degrees Celsius. So if you're not in Canada, you're in the US and you wanna change this over to Fahrenheit, you can do so by using the control panel on the unit, turning that off. And then while the remote's still on, you press and hold the mode and the down arrow to switch over to Fahrenheit. And when you power the unit back on with the remote, it'll sync to Fahrenheit. All right, guys, so we've got the Velet connected. It is running. We're showing the output here, currently varying somewhere between 360 watts and about 450 watts. Pretty impressive power draw. And our available time on this 10 kilowatt hour system is about a day and four hours right now. When this does start to scale up, this will drop back down to around 22, 23 hours. Um, so plenty of power available for this unit to run multiple days off grid. We can see here, you go into output. It is reporting our battery port. This is where you see the output of 455 watts right here. So this is where, this is how you can track your power consumption from this unit. And this number here, you can see it was sh showing a day and four hours, and now we're down to 22 and a half, about 22 hours, 40, and now it's coming back up. So this thing is ramping up and down. We are in a studio, it is somewhat climate controlled. It's not exactly real world conditions, but um, 
this is what, we, what we've got for now, so. All right, so we just put it into turbo mode. We're pulling about 565 watts, and our available time has gone down from about 22 and a half hours to 18 and a half hours. Oh, 584 is about the highest I've seen so far. So it kind of gives you an expectation of what you'll see when you do put this into turbo mode. Still pulling less than 600 watts. Really impressive if that is actually doing 11,000 BTUs. So to connect your Velet 2000R to the app, you'll need to download the Velet app from the App Store. It looks like this with a green triangle. We'll click on that. It'll instantly take you into connecting the device. We'll hit connect. You can see there's a nearby device here. We'll select that. And now we have control of the AC. We can see that our set point is 24C. We can go into settings, unit display, and switch that to Fahrenheit. Come back, now we're showing Fahrenheit. We can change to just fan mode. This is not a heat pump, so the heating mode here is actually, it's not actually an actual function. It does not have a heat pump, but we can choose cooling, and then we have the options of sleep, eco, auto, and then turbo. So we have it on auto right now. Our fan speed is adjustable here. If you do have the separate ADB, it, this is the swing feature down here. So there is a oscillating vent control using this. And then your temperature is adjustable here. You can either use the plus and minus, or you can actually grab the slider and drag it and slide it around. And this is just a Bluetooth functionality, so you do need to be within Bluetooth range. Uh, but it's a nice supplement to the remote if you're laying in bed and maybe you left the remote sitting on the wall. All right, guys, that wraps up our video on the Velet 2000R and integrating it with the EcoFlow Power Kit. If you have any questions, you can contact us at Customer Care at Rack Up Go or 888-929-3149. And remember, life's an adventure, rack up and go.